the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Welcome to St Mary Magdalene's on this first Sunday of Trinity. It's lovely to have you with us here uh, this morning. We're hoping to get back to some sort of uh, vague normality with the government guidelines for uh, being open to private prayer over the next week. So we'll be opening up on Tuesday morning uh, at nine o'clock, but we'll send out a WhatsApp message. But I hope some of you, uh, within the restrictions allowed, can come and join us uh, or come for private prayer in the church over the next week. But as we start our service this morning, it's good to welcome Fred as our, uh, as it were, visiting a celebrant. Uh, he's going to do that. Uh, but we come to our confession. So let us confess our sins to Almighty God as we say together. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed, and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. And so may Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you with all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for this day, the first Sunday of our Trinity season. O God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you. Grant us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to Christ our Saviour. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the Kingdom, and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into the harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out, and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaan, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, cast out demons. You receive without payment, give without payment. 
This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Morning. Today I have the great privilege of reading the intercessions. So thank you Father John for inviting me. In peace, let us pray to Jesus our Lord, whoever lives to make intercession for us. Saviour of the world, be present in all places of suffering, violence and pain, and bring hope, even in the darkest night. Inspire us to continue your work of reconciliation today. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord of the Church, empowered by your Spirit, all Christian people, especially Archbishop Stephen in his new mission in York, Bishop Peter, who has temporarily undertaken the role of Bishop of Chelmsford, and our local clergy team of Sue, Quinton, Fred, John, Anne, Marco and Shirley. And empower the work of your church in every land, Give us grace to proclaim the gospel joyfully in word and deed. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Shepherd and guardian of our souls, guide us and enable all who lead and serve this community and those on whom we depend for our daily needs. Grant that we may seek the peace and welfare of this place. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Great physician, stretch out your hand to bring comfort and wholeness and peace to all who suffer in mind, body or spirit. We especially remember those in isolation due to the coronavirus. All who have been and are affected by COVID-19 all the carers, helpers and medical staff who have been under tremendous stress for many months. Fill us with compassion that we may be channels of your healing love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Conqueror of death, remember for those whom we love but no longer see. Help us to live this day in the sure and certain hope of your eternal victory. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lastly, let us not be afraid to pray for ourselves, for without turning to God, we cannot be given the strength to help others. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. The prayer for peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you who said to your apostles and to your friends, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and on the faith of your children who worship you as your priest. Grant us your true peace, love, healing, and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you.
Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Savior. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us upon the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so far, holding to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and save you. Send the Holy Spirit upon your people and gather it one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Edmund, St. Bartholomew, St. Alban, St. Stephen, St. Michael, and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord. By whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. And draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. We say the prayer for spiritual communion. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O oh, most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day. Amen. pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer your souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Post-Communion Prayer. Eternal Father, we thank you for nourishing us with these heavenly gifts. May our communion strengthen us in faith, build us up in hope, and make us grow in love. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you all very much for joining us in this worship, this Holy Eucharist from St. Mary's. I am very, very privileged to celebrate here, to preside here uh, once more. Uh, we greet you, all of us here on the team, greet you from the parish of uh, Holy Trinity and particularly from St. Mary here. God bless you all and uh, keep you safe and sound. Let us now bow our head and pray for God's blessing. The Lord be with you and also with you. The 
God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, establish, strengthen, and, set, and settle you in that faith. In the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and upon all those you love and cherish and remain with you now and evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, Amen. <laughs>